Hey, you Bulldogs, it's Mrs. Mulder with our second story time this week. Uh, today we're going to read a book called Chinese New Year's Dragon for Lunar New Year that starts today. So this book is by Rachel Singh, and we're going to go ahead and give that a read. Oh, this is much better. Okay, something special always happens for Chinese people at the Lunar New Year. One year on the dark night of the new moon, something positively magical happened to me. That year started just like any other year when Nene began to scrub every corner of the house. I knew that soon it would be the new year. Nene says she cleans everything so that no bad luck from the old year will follow us into the new. Just like any other year, we got special calendars in the mail from our friends and relatives in faraway places. Calendars from China and Hong Kong and Singapore and Taiwan. If you look closely at them, you could see the lunar date for each day written in Chinese. Just like any other year, we went to the markets where we buy special Chinese foods and decorations. Just like any other year, there were Fu signs everywhere. Fu is the Chinese word for good, fortune, or wealth. People hang the Fu upside down for extra good luck. Just like any other new year, there were lots of dra dragons around, but this year there were more dragons than usual. This year there were more were dragons everywhere. This year the new year was going to be the year of the dragon. All right, this is not centered. I bought a dragon home. Just like any other year, Uncle Min wrote Chunlian with a brush and ink. Chunlian, which have decorated Chinese people's homes for hundreds of years, are always done in pairs. This year, Uncle Min wrote, the dragon waits for spring to come on one strip of paper, and dragons make thunder and rain for fun on the other. Uncle Min read the Chunlian to me. I'm just learning Chinese. Just like any other year, mom put out flowers. This year she chose narcissus. Some years she arranged plum blossoms in a vase. At new year, people start looking forward to spring and new beginnings. Just like any other year, I helped Nene put out the special roasted seeds and dried fruits we had bought. Each one has a special meaning. Melon and lotus seeds stand for having lots of children in the family. Just like any other year, the adults cooked all day and all night the day before New Year's Eve. Uncle Min roasted a duck and cooked my favorite pork dish. Aunt Wong steamed a whole fish. The word for fish sounds like the word for plenty in Chinese. and We really had plenty for the New Year. Nene made little pillows of dough filled with vegetables and meats called jiozi. The jiozi are usually made in northern China or New Year, at New Year. To make Josie, you press the sides of the dough together. They remind people about friendship and family togetherness. And just like any other year, we had noodles at our New Year's meal, long noodles. Long noodles stand for long life. You must not cut the noodles while you are eating them. If you do, you will cut short your luck and cut off a friendship or shorten your life. <laughs> just like any other year, New Year's Eve finally came. The adults played cards after dinner. My cousins and I watched them and played games of our own. Everyone stayed up past midnight to welcome the new year. Just like any other New Year's Eve, the adults gave us children red and gold envelopes with money inside called Hung Bao. Hung Bao means red envelope in Chinese. The money is called lucky money. But that one New Year's Eve, just as I was feeling sleepy, Nene nudged my shoulder. She led me to my room. I brought my dragon kite with me. As I lay in bed, Nene explained to me about the dragon and the Lunar New Year. Nene said that long ago in China, people believed that the dragon had power over all water. They believed that there were river dragons and rain dragons. The rain dragon made thunder and lightning when it crossed the sky. Nene told me about people, that people once thought that the dragon went to sleep in the winter and woke up in spring, just in time to bring the spring rains. At New Year, people set off firecrackers to make sure the dragon did not sleep too long. As Nene talked, I suddenly felt like I was riding through the clouds high above the earth on my dragon. I traveled far away, back in time. I looked below me and can see a Lunar New Year's Eve in China long ago. Ooh. The next thing I knew, I was back with Nene. I could hear the laughter of my family inside. Fireworks beginning to go off. It was midnight. The year of the dragon had arrived. It's a class read. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and enjoy your first weekend of Lunar New Year. And I hope you get to do a lot of celebrating besides Valentine's Day. Take care, Bulldogs.